place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when we were felt small. This is Christian from Northeast 360. Uh, we have a product review, and uh, that product is the Vertex 2.0 gray man backpack my wife wanted a more urban style backpack to carry her get home stuff so she works in boston uh if she had to get home in an emergency or a crisis or some sort of like that um she'd be walking all right um public transportation I mean, picking her up today from work was a 45-minute event, and I was only a mile and a half from her building. So in a, in a crisis, she would have to hot foot at home, and that is right around seven miles of going through the city. So she didn't want anything that was obvious, like my uh, bailout bag from my car. It's an obvious tactical bag. So... Through some searching, we had options. Uh, Maxpedition had the uh, civilian commuter bag. Expedition uh, bag that I'm referring to is the prepared citizens bag. Uh, it's very similar gray man setup. Um, has a lot of modular features. Uh, I'll leave a link back to the video. I like Vertex. Uh, Vertex is a well-known company. They make really good product, high-end bags. Uh, High-end clothing for tactical wear. Um, I have a couple of pairs of their pants for work and uh, They're they're rock solid. So we decided to make the enormous purchase and Pick it up. I will leave a link to this bag um, I don't think I'll be linking all the contents of this bag to you guys, but I will link certain items that stand out uh, so from the outside it looks like an everyday commuter bag um, it's got some little secret tricks to it. Uh, it does have two side pockets. Uh, you know, you can keep two Nalgene water bottles. Uh, this is a 38 liter uh, Nalgene bottle, uh, or 38 ounce, sorry, not liter, 38 liters. That would be huge. Um, you know, American system here. So this is the heather black color. Um, it's kind of a charcoal gray, but it has like this nice little, you know, urban hound's tooth. Nothing on the bag really screams, hey, I'm a tactical ninja ninja of a bag. Uh, it's pretty plain Jane from the outside. Um, it has a nice reinforced backing so that it keeps the moisture off any kind of like sweating and stuff like that it helps we'll get to what this is in a minute uh the straps very heavy duty has a little room to grow uh has a chest strap everything is really high quality on this bag uh right down to your cords itself can be wrapped up so you don't have anything hanging or jiggling um it is all really good. Uh, it's a mixture. It's a thousand denier. It's got some 600 denier in the bag. You can kind of tell just by its stuff. They have their own proprietary patterns and they are now have their proprietary. Um, will come to me in a minute, but um, for their CCW add ons, uh, Velcro. They got their own proprietary type of Velcro. This is your standard Velcro on the back, but when you get further into the bag, you'll see what I mean. Um, and it's sewed in. So you have two side pockets. We'll come out to our first front pocket. It's like you're an admin pouch. Flip it open. For her, you know, she's got you know flashlights. She's got headlamps, rechargeable headlamps. She's got battery packs, you know, pens, nail clipper, multi-tool. You know, lip gloss, stuff like that, because, you know, winter. Um, fire starting kit is in here. Mm -hmm. Extra batteries. Uh, glow sticks. That's basically it for this portion of the bag. So you're, you know, everyday kind of like quick stuff that you need. All right. Moving forward, this is where the concealed kind of tactical items can happen. You can carry your bag nice and gray man just like this. Or there are certain little grab handles. And if you stage the bag correctly, 
those grab handles can tear free. This piece can be stowed inside its own internal pocket, and then you can have Molly accessories. So you can put, you know, a holster in here, or spare mag cases. It can be Velcroed with their Velcro Molly, their laser cut straps. Underneath, in its little pouch, she carries her, you know, water filtration stuff. Water filtration, um, a emergency bivy slash heavy, heavy duty blanket from SOL gear, her life straw. She carries a poncho, spare sunglasses in this little like kangaroo style pouch. So could you have it looking tactical if you wanted to? You sure could. But she wanted more of a gray man bag so that she can blend in with all the other commuters, say if she has to take the train or something like that. So moving on to our large pouch. Our large pouch is where you see their proprietary um, Velcro system. So you can put your Velcroed on pouches and stuff like that. When we flip it open, this is all a Velcro material. It does have some admitting pouch, admin pouches to it, or whatever you want to put in it. Now, it has a quick pull tab. If you want to utilize that quick pull tab, right now she's just using it to stage a cat Gen 7 tourniquet and a rat's tourniquet because we have children and a dog. Uh, there is still space to grow. You could technically put a Velcroed holster here from someplace like, uh, I don't know, um, this is the Alien Gear holster that I was suggesting. It's their 2.0 shape shift. Uh, this is Crossbreed's belly band holster that utilizes a Velcro on holster system that we're going to get my wife. This is what it looks like uh, just Velcroed to something. Back to the video. It's called uh, Alien Gear, their Velcro system. It'll attach to this provided it is a male attachment for Velcro. Uh, it's really, really good stuff. They do have their own proprietary soft holster. This is Vertex Tactigami holster. It can light bare, do all the things. The only problem I have with it is it is a soft holster that doesn't have anything hard covering the trigger guard. Otherwise, rock solid. This is their mag pouches and their other systems along with the holster. Uh, back to the video. I'm not a fan of soft holsters. I want something that's going to cover that trigger, trigger guard. So you can rip this open real quick, grab your concealed carry pistol, and go to work. Inside the bag, deep in it, she carries a raincoat. So she has a raincoat. Uh, she is uh, my sexy little bee. So she is probably wearing high heels or something like that. So she has wool socks because it's winter. She has Morel hiking sneakers. Um, going on to her feminine products that she needs on those days because she's a woman <clears throat> coming in hat spare gloves inside the hat One more glove inside moving on to the red zipper red zipper for her is trauma stuff so as you can see here flip this bag around this table is getting too small for us. But she's got chest seals, she's got a mask, she's got pressure bandages, she's got Thyrosafe, you know, God forbid, the dirty bomb or whatever. Um, she's got something, yeah. If it's the big nuke, you're sizzling, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but, you know, you can, you know, survive small stuff. But then she has her boo-boo kits. She has all this stuff. Um, she is slowly but surely coming around to all the training that's necessary for these things. But that's essentially in her bag. Moving further, she has quick, yummy, kind bars, Belvita. on the run kind of stuff uh we gotta actually replace this with better coffee we have uh better coffee now 
We have Black Rifle mm -hmm. Instant Coffee. Mm -hmm. We gotta toss those in the bag. <clears throat> and then she also has some lifeboat food. So in case her emergency gets a little bit longer. So she has water filtration, she has that, she has a Nalgene that can be heated to heat up things. Moving on, uh, this bag for the commuter will fit, I believe, up to a 17-inch laptop. You can see there's more of their proprietary Velcro backing for their stuff that sticks right to it. If you want more, you know, say magazine pouches and say you're in law enforcement or in the military. Good stuff. Now it comes to the back. The back of this and that pull tab. Let me see. Let's take it over to this way. It's a little easier. This has an emergency pull tab. This emergency pull tab is for a concealed carry pocket. And you can carry quite large stuff in it. You can put in a broken down AR into this pocket. In the back here, more proprietary stuff. Uh, on that picture, it shows like a Kimber 1911, a tourniquet. You can build this out. And it this is just a few of the configurations that you can utilize with this back concealed carry uh, system. Um, again, Premier Body Armor Plate is designed to fit their bags. They utilize their systems uh, <clears throat> for that concealed carry pouch that I talk about right around here. So back to the video. So modular that it's, it's pretty incredible. She has her pepper spray in the back, um, some spare kinetics. For her Glock 19, a fixed blade, a belly band holster that we're going to upgrade with a better belly band holster, and the piece de la resistance in the back here is a pocket. In this pocket, you can put a Premier Body Armor insert, so a plate insert for a level 4, level 5, depending on what you want to carry and how much weight. Uh, level 3A plus is where I would be at uh, because there's so much stuff in her bag plus the 3A. It, 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 it's going to end up being a rock sack. I mean, this is 25 liters and she's got it filled quite a bit. This bag also, if you're just in the straight commuter stuff or backpacking, all the tactical cool stuff aside, this is a great backpacking. Day bag, it's pretty fantastic. You saw her, you can fit all your stuff, you know, you, you go out and throw in your hiking shoes in the back of this thing. Um, you can fit a water bladder. It has the attachment for the water bladder. In here has pass-throughs on both sides for a water bladder. So if you're hiking and camping, having a little, you know, just in case survival gear with you, Thumbs up. Uh, Vertex, I am thoroughly impressed with your bag. Um, she was carrying just a blasé soccer bag. It was killing her back. She put this on the first day. She's like, this is amazing. An absolute life-changing bag. Right. So this is Christian from Northeast 360, jiggling the camera away. <laughs> um, keep moving forward. Like, share, comment, subscribe.